Have you ever felt trapped in your own thoughts? It's a feeling that can be both isolating and overwhelming. Have you ever felt like your mind was a broken record, endlessly replaying the same worries and fears? The same thoughts, often negative and unproductive, playing on repeat, creating a mental loop that's hard to break free from. This relentless cycle of overthinking can be incredibly draining, sapping your energy and leaving you feeling exhausted. It can trap us in a cycle of worry and distress, making it difficult to focus on anything else. This experience might be a sign of rumination disorder, a condition where persistent thoughts dominate your mind. Rumination disorder, although less known, is a serious mental health condition that deserves attention. It impacts countless individuals worldwide, affecting their daily lives and overall well-being. This essay aims to shed light on this often misunderstood disorder, providing valuable insights and information. We'll explore its causes, symptoms and potential treatment options, offering a comprehensive understanding. Our goal is to provide clarity and hope, helping those affected to see a path forward. Understanding is the first step towards seeking help and embarking on a journey of recovery, where support and treatment can make a significant difference. Join us as we delve into the world of rumination disorder, uncovering the challenges and the ways to overcome them, A defining rumination disorder more than just worry. Rumination disorder goes beyond everyday worry. It's characterized by repetitive and intrusive thoughts. These thoughts are often negative. They focus on past events, mistakes or potential problems. Imagine a record player stuck on the same groove, replaying a sad song. This is how someone with rumination disorder might feel. They get stuck in a loop of negative thoughts. These thoughts become difficult to control or stop. This continuous cycle of overthinking can have serious consequences. It impacts mental well-being and daily functioning. It's crucial to differentiate rumination disorder from occasional worry. This distinction allows for appropriate diagnosis and treatment. Delving into the DSM-5 TR criteria, the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, DSM-5-TR, outlines specific criteria for diagnosing rumination disorder. These criteria help mental health professionals make accurate diagnoses. One key criterion is the presence of repetitive and persistent negative thoughts. These thoughts center around past events, relationships, or personal shortcomings. Imagine constantly replaying a painful memory in your mind, unable to escape its grip. Another criterion is the involuntary and intrusive nature of these thoughts. Individuals with rumination disorder don't choose to ruminate. The thoughts seem to appear out of nowhere. This can be incredibly distressing and difficult to manage. Unpacking the causes a complex interplay. The exact causes of rumination disorder remain unclear. Research suggests a complex interplay of factors contributes to its development. These factors include genetics, personality traits and life experiences. Some individuals may have a genetic predisposition to rumination. This means they are more likely to develop the disorder due to their genetic makeup. Imagine inheriting a tendency towards anxiety or overthinking from a parent. Environmental factors also play a crucial role. Traumatic experiences, chronic stress and certain personality traits can increase the risk. For example, individuals who are naturally more self-critical or perfectionistic might be more prone to rumination. Section 5. Recognizing the symptoms beyond the surface. Recognizing the symptoms of rumination disorder is vital for seeking timely intervention. Early detection can make a significant difference in managing the condition effectively. While repetitive negative thoughts are a hallmark, other symptoms often accompany the disorder. These symptoms can vary widely from person to person, making it essential to understand the full spectrum. One common symptom is difficulty concentrating. This can manifest in various ways, such as struggling to stay focused on work, school, or even daily tasks. The constant barrage of intrusive thoughts makes it challenging to focus on tasks or conversations. These thoughts can be so overwhelming that they disrupt daily life and productivity. Imagine trying to read a book while a disturbing song plays on repeat in the background. This analogy helps illustrate how intrusive thoughts can dominate one's mind. Another symptom is sleep disturbances. These can range from difficulty falling asleep to waking up frequently during the night. 
Rumination can make it difficult to fall asleep or stay asleep throughout the night. The mind becomes a battleground of worries and concerns. The mind races with worries and anxieties, preventing restful sleep. This lack of rest can have a cascading effect on overall health. This can further exacerbate fatigue and impair daily functioning. The cycle of poor sleep and fatigue can be difficult to break, leading to a decline in mental and physical health. Section 6. The Profound Impact of Rumination Disorder Rumination disorder, if left untreated, can have a profound impact on various aspects of an individual's life. It can affect their relationships, work productivity and overall well-being. In relationships, rumination can lead to communication breakdowns and conflicts. Individuals might constantly dwell on past disagreements or perceived slights, creating tension and resentment. Imagine a couple constantly rehashing old arguments, unable to move forward. Rumination can also significantly impair work or academic performance. Difficulty concentrating and low mood can make it challenging to complete tasks effectively or meet deadlines. This can lead to feelings of inadequacy, frustration and decreased productivity. If you resonate with the information shared so far, it's essential to remember that you're not alone. Seeking professional help is crucial for obtaining an accurate diagnosis and exploring treatment options. A mental health professional, such as a therapist or psychiatrist, can conduct a comprehensive evaluation. This evaluation typically involves discussing symptoms, medical history and any potential contributing factors. Imagine talking to a compassionate listener who understands the complexities of your experience. Treatment for rumination disorder often involves a combination of therapy and medication. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, or CBT, is a particularly effective form of therapy. It helps individuals identify and challenge negative thought patterns. Recovery from rumination disorder is an ongoing journey that requires patience, self-compassion and the right support. It's not a quick fix, but a gradual process that unfolds over time. Many individuals have successfully navigated this journey and found lasting relief. Their stories serve as a beacon of hope for others. Consider the story of Sarah, a young professional who struggled with rumination for years. Her days were filled with repetitive thoughts and constant overthinking. She constantly replayed past mistakes in her mind, unable to let go of the smallest errors. This relentless cycle led to severe anxiety and a significant drop in her self-esteem. Through therapy, Sarah learned to identify her negative thought patterns. She worked diligently with her therapist to understand the root causes of her rumination and replace them with more balanced and realistic ones. This cognitive restructuring was a pivotal part of her recovery. Imagine the empowering feeling of finally breaking free from the chains of rumination. Sarah experienced this liberation firsthand. Sarah's story highlights that recovery is possible. Her journey is a testament to the power of perseverance and the right support. By seeking help, engaging in therapy and practicing self-care, individuals can make significant strides in their mental health journey. They can regain control over their thoughts and live fulfilling lives. Sarah's story is just one of many, showing that with the right tools and support, overcoming rumination is within reach for everyone. If you or someone you know is struggling with rumination disorder, remember that you are not alone. Numerous resources and support systems are available to help you on your journey. Organizations like the Anxiety and Depression Association of America provide valuable information, support groups and resources for individuals with rumination disorder and their loved ones. Imagine connecting with others who understand your struggles and can offer encouragement and guidance. Reaching out to a trusted friend, family member or mental health professional can also provide invaluable support during challenging times. Remember, seeking help is a sign of strength, not weakness. Thank you for taking the time to learn about rumination disorder. By understanding this often overlooked condition, we can help reduce stigma and encourage individuals to seek the support they deserve. Remember, recovery is possible. With the right information, support and self-care, individuals with rumination disorder can reclaim their lives and experience lasting well-being. Continue exploring the resources available and reach out for help if you need it. Your mental health matters.